Work with 59 here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're doing yet another episode of Custom Lego Star Wars sets. So for those of you who are new to the series, basically on Instagram I make a Custom Lego Star Wars sets uh, using Lego Digital Designer and Photoshop. And basically um, I post those on my Instagram account. And every so often, once I have enough sets compiled together, I make a video on them. So uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about a few custom LEGO Star Wars sets I've made. i uh, just going to go in and give you my overall thoughts on them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And remember, as always, all the sets you see in this video are made by me. If you want to see more images and info, you can check the link in description to my Instagram account. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first set here is the Naboo Royal Starship. Now this would be a pretty cool one to see be made. Now, uh, in general, the prequel trilogy has some pretty interesting and unique vehicles, so it'd be always nice to actually see them made in LEGO form. So the Naboo Starship was from Episode 1, and I think it would be kind of really cool to see be made. Uh, mainly, it's kind of a unique style, unique design, it's really sleek looking, and even if it's not in the chrome color, I think just a place out version of this would be terrific. In terms of the figs, it could be Anakin, uh, sorry, Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, uh, Senator Amidala, a couple Naboo guards, and maybe R2. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. Again, uh, I think this would be kind of a ship that, since we've not gotten in the past, would kind of sell pretty well at probably a $50 to $60 price point. Uh, but, you know, overall, just because of the overall design and uh, kind of overall look of the ship, I think it would be a really cool build and sell quite well. All right, and the next set here is the Jedi Temple. Now, we have always wanted a Jedi Temple set from LEGO, and I can now definitely see why they haven't made one up till this point, mainly because this is a pretty uh, difficult build to make, especially in more of a playset scale. So what I ended up doing here was making half of the Jedi Temple, uh, just because if it was uh, the full size and it would be much more uh, too I uh, feel a bit too large for a uh, believable playset scale but uh, it's overall using the dark tan and tan color scheme rather than the grays I think that looks much better and uh, overall this was definitely a challenging set to make but I think one we definitely need in this kind of smaller playset scale with a few rooms in the back um, but again this is definitely probably the one of the most popular structures of the entire prequel era so I think a set of this would be well worth it even though it is definitely a bit more of a difficult design to make uh, but definitely this would be one that would sell out like crazy uh, just in general uh, everyone knows about the Jedi Temple and so many folks would love to see it uh, it would be a great display piece as well but uh, yeah so there is the Jedi Temple alright and moving along the next custom set here is the Bad Bad Ship so, uh, with Season 7 of the Clone Wars going on at this time, uh, based on when this video is being recorded, I think it would be pretty cool to see a ship of the Bad Batch. Uh, in general, Clone Wars Season 7 has been pretty solid, and out of that first arc, the Bad Batch ship was definitely one of the most prominent or popular of the vehicles that was seen. So I think it would be really cool to make. This one is made specifically uh, similar to that Emperor Palpatine shuttle from a few years back. It's similar in that scale. So I think a nice playset $60 version of the set would be terrific. Obviously, LEGO probably wouldn't include all those Bad Batch figs, but having all four of them in the one set and Anakin, I think, would be a really solid minifigure selection. But overall, this ship has a nice sleek design and definitely a bit more of a unique one uh, compared to some of the other builds that you see in Star Wars. So I think it would be a nice set, uh, just a nice vehicle overall for that $60 price point. So that is the Bad Batch vehicle. And also, it would be really nice to see it released, you know, in a bit of a Clone Wars wave. Alright, and the next custom set here is the Venator class Star Destroyer from Star Wars The Clone Wars as well. Uh, but basically, this one was a lot of fun to make. This was actually more of a playset version of the build. So, um, it is kind of closer to the other Star Destroyer and playset versions of the sets released in years past. However, I did end up uh, going in terms of detailing a bit more to that UCS level. So a lot more greebling and uh, mixture of tiles and plates. So just a lot more detail on it uh, just to kind of make it, you know, a bit more uh, to that UCS uh, kind of uh, version. 
in terms of the detailing. Uh, but yeah, this was a lot of fun to make. And in terms of figs, I think including in the set, you have Anakin, Obi-Wan, Rex, Cody, 501st, and a Battle Droid. So a lot of cool figs. Definitely probably not that many if LEGO were to make it. But I think uh, this was definitely a lot of fun to make. And hopefully we do get a uh, Venator here in the near future. Alright, and the next set here is the 501st Troopers Battle Pack. And funny enough, this was actually made before the actual 501st set was revealed. Uh, based on rumors, I'd ended up designing this. So this is just the Bark Speeder, ATRC, and four 501st Troopers. Pretty, almost, uh, pretty uh, similar to the set that was released. Uh, but again, uh, definitely uh, not much to say on this one. Other than that, we're glad we finally got a 501st set. Even though if it isn't specifically a battle pack. All right, and the next custom set here is the Umbara and Hover Tank. Now, uh, the Umbara arc was definitely one of the best of the Clone Wars, and it's surprising we haven't got too many sets from it. I mean, uh, especially in terms of Umbara and vehicles, since there were so many. Uh, so an Umbara and Hover Tank would be really cool to see. Uh, so in terms of this build, basically I ended up just uh, making a uh, in the light bluish gray color a Umbara and Hover Tank, which uh, you can get more info on. This will actually be in my Umbara mock as well. Uh, which is coming out next Friday, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, basically a Umbara set would be great. So in this case, I included an ATRT, a couple 501st, as well as the Umbara and Hover Tank. Uh, but yeah, overall, this was a quite neat, nice vehicle, and I think one that would easily be able to made into a playset version. Uh, but yeah, so there is the Umbara and Hover Tank custom set. All right, and this next build here is actually one that wasn't seen too much in the Clone Wars, but is somewhat of a popular ship. This is the Stealth Corvette uh, from the Cat and Mouse episode of the Clone Wars. And I'm surprised we haven't gotten a set of this released yet, uh, as it is, again, a pretty nice, unique vehicle. Uh, but overall, I think it would be really cool to see a playset version of this. So in this case, I ended up just making it. A bit, a, quite a bit of a downsized front, um, but I think it's a pretty solid scale. So I can fit one minifig, and uh, overall I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Uh, so you can see some nice detailing on the exterior, um, especially those uh, rounded 2x2 two two towels. I actually really like that uh, addition. Uh, but yeah, overall a stealth Corvette would be really cool to see in LEGO. Yeah, the minifigures are actually a bit more of a Phase 2 collection, but... I think in general, Stealth Corvette would be something really cool to see. A uh, bit of a nice unique ship, so there you go. Alright, and the next custom set here is the Geonosian Arena Attack. So this is another one that many folks have been wanting, so uh, here's kind of my interpretation of it. Basically what we have here is kind of it's split into three main sections, uh, each which kind of their own play features. So on the very left you got kind of uh, some uh, nice greebling and detailing with some of the overhangs. The center section is where Dooku kind of has the balcony. And then the right section is where Windu fights Django. In terms of the creatures, you have all three as well as one of the poles. Uh, but yeah, overall, if you were to make a Geonosian Arena set, I think all of this would be needed, including all, all what, 10 of those figs, 9 of those figs. Uh, but, uh, like, again, a set like this of a nice iconic scene, I think definitely needs all those figs. In terms of the overall design, it was a lot of fun to make. I used that dark orange color, which I think looks quite well uh, with those uh, dark, re the reddish brown highlights. But yeah, overall, the set definitely, I'm surprised LEGO has it made. Uh, here is the Geonosian Arena. All right, and the next one is also from Season 7 of the Clone Wars. This was actually the most recent Clone Wars episode, uh, Old Friends Not Forgotten. And basically, this is a scene kind of representing that opening invasion so i got the um, mandalorian gauntlet fighter this time i did end up trying to go with a snot technique uh, with technic reinforcement on the underside and i think it turned out quite nice it was definitely a bit of a unique take on it but yeah overall it turned out quite nice in terms of the figs again a lot of figs but i mean if this was kind of representing that episode of the final season of the Clone Wars, I thought it definitely deserved that big count. So of course Ahsoka, Bo-Katan, Rex, um, 332nd, or is it 322nd? Uh, then we of course have Gar Saxon, as well as some all Mandalorian Super Commandos. But yeah, this was a fun set to make, a great episode, and I definitely can't wait for that next one.
And finally, we got the self-propelled heavy artillery cannon. This was actually a collab with Rigid Brick on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a pretty cool vehicle, which we saw in Attack of the Clones. And uh, I ended up uh, working with him to design this. So it was a fun one to make for sure. Uh, but yeah, overall, one I'm surprised we haven't gotten. Uh, a really unique design, definitely inspiring the later on stun tanks. But I think this would be a fun set to just have been made. Uh, again, in terms of figs, I ended up including Windu, a few of the clones, and droids. I included the lieutenant, or the commander and captain clone, but again, for a set of this scale, I definitely think it's deserved. Uh, but yeah, a playset version of this build would be quite nice in around this scale at around that $120 price point. But there is the self-propelled heavy artillery cannon. Alright, but anyways, there you go. So those were a look at the custom sets I've made over the last few months. Let me know what you guys thought and which ones of these were your favorites. Definitely let me know that down in the comments below. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon, of course, including that uh, Building Umbara finale next week, next Friday. Um, but yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Uh, you can check my Instagram for more pics, including interiors on some of these builds. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. If you enjoyed it, a thumbs up would be great. And do not forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. But I'll see you all next time.